Good morning, Guardians. The Hedgehog Gamer here, and it is Friday. And wow, what a long week. Anyway, it's Friday. That means it's time for another Zer location video in the original Destiny, which I'm going to always remind people don't forget, Zer is only in the tower in the original Destiny for 48 hours. So it's almost 6 a.m. here in New Jersey. He will be gone by 5 a.m. Sunday morning, New Jersey time. Adjust your time frame based on that. Okay, and again, this is the original Destiny, first Destiny, okay? Anyway, as you can see, we are in the tower. As I've pointed out, the way you know what Zer if Zer is in the tower is based on the purple mark over here. If you see this, you know he's in the tower. If you don't see this, it means he's in the reef, which is a problem for some people who haven't unlocked the reef. Anyway, it's pretty easy to find him. You are heading straight towards the vanguard. Again, this is first oh, destiny. First destiny. Lives. He is right over here. You think? I mean, the tower is obviously different. So, Zer, hmm. agent of the nine. Um, let's see. he's got as usual the usual legacy engram. I did say I was going to look into that. I will look into that. I promise. I need to look into which ones of the year one give you the year two blueprint. But I, I haven't. I think they're also just really expensive. I mean, thirty-one strange coins. For a primary weapon, Legacy Engram, that's a lot of strange coins. That's just a lot of strange coins. I don't know a lot of people who would, I mean, just a lot. I mean, most of the regular stuff you get here is less than, it's like 13 strange coins. But 31 for an Engram you don't even know what you're going to get? Seems a bit hefty. Anyway, for the Titan, you have the Glass House. Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light last longer. Let me know, Titans, if this is any good. I don't know much about Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light. Since I only play fiery, flaming hammers of flaming awesomeness. Because fly, flaming, fiery hammers of flaming awesomeness. They're hammers made of fire, okay? That's cooler than blessing of light and weapons of light. At least for me. I know there's probably some great things about blessing of light and weapons of light I don't know about. So let me know. The glass house. I hope it's not really made out of glass. Though there is a Warframe made out of glass. So, uh, you know what? No comment. Next you have the Acleophage Acli Symbiote. Golden Gun gains one additional shot. Honestly, I mean, I can see this being great in Crucible because then you could shoot four people. So, yeah, I can see this pretty good in Crucible or when you're dealing with lots of small enemies that, you know, want to deal with Golden Gun. So, you know, powerful small enemies. So you have four yellow bar enemies. Yeah, I can see that being pretty good. But I'm more of a Celestial Nighthawk person because it's great against bosses. But I can see the benefit to this one. The Achillophage. Let's just call it the Symbiote. Okay? Let's just call it the Symbiote. It's creepy too. I will say that. Yeah, it looks like the flood just infected my hunter. Yeah. Or molten lava. Right. Though, like I said, I can see the benefit, especially in Crucible when you're running around. I have an extra shot, so you can shoot four people instead of three. So, yeah, I can see that benefit. I can see the benefit to this one. I don't use it very often because generally I tend to use the, um, you know, you know when it would also be great when you have... Daybreak set as the nightfall modifier, then you're going to be having constant, um, constant, uh, super, and you'll have four shots. So, yeah, I could see that as well. I'm pretty sure I have it. So, I, but you know, that would be a great help with, um, daybreak for the nightfall. Um, then you have for the, the ram again, which was the same as last week. Yeah, I saw the benefits to the ram. It's great for melee. I, I'm, as I said, I can't help but compare it to the Corpus Helmet simply because I honestly would think the Corpus Helmet would actually be more easier to move around in. Look, like I said, when I deal with my Hunter, I like my Hunter to use gear that, for me, feels like it would fit being out in the wild, easy to move around in. And even the Corpus Helmet, to me, seems a little... I mean, especially since how often they get shot off a corpus head. This seems even more bulky than a corpus helmet. But I guess warlocks are meant to be like a, t a hunter. And they just are like wizards walking around kind of thing. Yeah. So I can see it being w work usable for warlocks. I'm not a really big warlock person. So, yeah. Then we have the No Land Beyond, 
which is a sniper rifle in your primary slot. This exotic sniper rifle can be equipped in the primary weapon slot. Um, that's pretty good. Um, I need to practice sniping. My sniping isn't very good. Um, that seems pretty cool. You should probably pick... Uh, look, I, I recommend you pick up every exotic you don't have. Because, excuse me, one, exotics give you higher grimoire score. Every exotic you pick up will give you more grimoire score. So always pick up every exotic. Second, once you pick up the blueprint for an exotic, even if you dismantle it, you can reclaim it. So even if you don't want to have it with you right now, you have the once you pick it up, you have it forever available to you. That's why I also recommend it. Even if you don't think you need it right now, you might need it in a couple of weeks. And you go, why didn't I pick up No Land Beyond? Just, just pick it up. Make your life easier. Then we have the same ones as last week. I'm sure we had Mida and the Trespasser last week. Um, Mida multi pool, Mida multi tool, and special ops. I like Mida. Mine isn't fully unlocked because apparently. I can't find my previous Mida, so I had to reclaim one. Um, it's 30 strange coins and silver dust. You get silver dust from the boxes. Um, anyway, I like the Mida. It's a scout rifle. I also like. I also actually like the Mida in Destiny 2. Not all of the exotics that move from Destiny to Destiny 2 I like. Um, I wish they would bring Necrochasm and uh, my beloved Zalo Supercell. Um, but... I like Mida and Destiny 2 as well. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a scout rifle. It's a good scout rifle. Um, third eye. Radar stays active while aiming down the weapon sights. You get light. I mean, it's very much a makes you boost speed. This weapon boosts move speed and fires on a hair trigger. And you have plus lightweight. So it boosts your speed. Um, which I like. Um... What's the uh, ornament? You get the special ops ornament, which is also the cool ornament. So if you need Mida, I would get it now because this is special ops. It looks cool. This is your weapon without special ops. It still looks cool. It looks cooler with special ops. This is the, the, the ornament you'll get if you buy it from Zer right now. Then you have Trespasser, which, my God, this, this gun keeps coming up. He, he must have, like, an excessive stock of Trespasser, and he's just trying to get rid of it. So Trespasser, I have never been a really big fan of it. As I said, I feel like the, with the burst and the secondary, you run out of ammo pretty fast. That's just me. I just remember using it in the Plaguelands and running out of ammo repeatedly and not liking it. Um, so Trespasser, right over here. Mine isn't even fully unlocked. Um, what is the ornament you get with Trespasser when you buy it from him right now? You get uh, the Crucible Assassin ornament. Now, the Crucible Assassin ornament, though, is the nice ornament. As I said, also, I recommend you pick up everything. So if you don't have Mida or Trespasser, just and you have the Silver Dust and the Strange Coins, pick them up. It adds to your Grimoire score. It just good to have. Um, the Crucible Assassin is the nicer ornament. So, as I said, it's it's very much a burst weapon see this weapon fires bursts of bullets with deadly accuracy and the next thing is reloading after a kill causes the next burst to be longer more powerful super burst i think it was on playstation that mine is actually fully unlocked and i think i actually got it in challenge of the elders i could be wrong i don't remember i just remember being really excited about getting this gun and then using it and being like you run out of ammo ridiculously fast um Kills with this weapon grant enhanced motion tracker resolution for a short time. Um, this is the Crucible Assassin ornament. I think it looks cool. This is without it. Eh. I like... Yeah, I like it. This is the ornament you'll get. It's called Crucible Assassin. I think it looks very cool. Um, so, I would just pick it up just to have it. Even though it seems that they are constantly dropping Trespasser. As I said, it feels like Zer has an excessive inventory of Trespasser. And it's like, please just buy... Buy him out of his trespasser inventory so we don't have to deal with trespasser. But that's probably not the case. But he just it's been coming up over and over again. I feel like I just carry trespasser now because I know it's gonna be one of his weapons. Anyway, that's then you have the usual curios, which one can never have enough super heavy ammo since I miss heavy ammo since. Um I use this only once, this rerolls exotics. Um see. So, so slivers of glassy material that appear to alter the flow of time around them. Said to be used by the Nine to transform the pro properties of exotic gear. Um, then you have the Three of Coins, which I'm constantly forgetting to pop. You need to 
every time you beat a boss, you know it's based. See, you'll have a marker here that three of coins is ready to go. So here, let me show you. In case you don't know, now see nine exotic particles. This will disappear when I face like a boss, and I might get an exotic. I usually don't. I don't. Exotics don't like to drop for me. Most of my exotics I bought from Zer. Okay. So that's the usual curios. I have honestly, let me know what these two are in the comments down below because I have no idea what these are. I have never bought any because they seem expensive. Plasma drive vehicle upgrade. Permanently upgrades an equipped rare sparrow to improve overall speed and durability. Let me know in the comments, is it worth buying and what does it do? Because I've never bought one because it seems ridiculously expensive. And then you have the other one, Emerald Coil, a strangely tuned drive that produces a greenish contrail under boost. Permanently upgrades an equipped rare sparrow to improve speed and durability. Again, let me know. Maybe I'll then try and pick up some strange coins and pick one up. But let me know what it does. Is it worth it? Why? Finally, I will show just in case for people who don't know where you can reclaim again where you can let's say you dismantle something I, I feel like I must have dismantled my mita by mistake. This is where you reclaim stuff This is where the blueprints are for the exotic so you can see the vanguard is over there our hero the great Cade six Cade we miss you Now that he's no I think he's no longer on the rookie now. That he's no longer the rookie no, I think he, yeah, I, I, anyway, that side. So here you can see any one of these I'm missing the blueprint for. Most of the exotics I'm missing in Destiny 1 are raid exotics. Um, I think, in fact, the only ones I'm missing, you could go online, there's a whole list of all of the exotics in the original Destiny, and I think the only ones I'm missing are the raid exotics. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's only raid exotics. I've gotten everything else. Um... These I can't reclaim because I never picked it up. Once you pick it up, they're like Red Death. I can't, for one exotic shard and some glimmer, reclaim Red Death. I don't need to. I have Red Death, but I could if I wanted. Um, then, in order to infuse a 400 light weapon into Red Death, I would need another exotic shard. But every weapon that whose blueprint you have unlocked, this is the year one stuff, I don't have most of it. Oh, wait. I probably couldn't reclaim some of them simply because... Oh, wait, current heavy one. So this is the current heavy. And then you have seed legacy. These are the legacy ones. I think it was Suros Regime that I, re I actually discovered. Yeah, I think this is Suros Regime is, I think, the one that I got through a legacy engram. And it didn't give me the year two. But current heavy, current heavy. This is all current. And then this is all the legacy. But you can reclaim them if you have once you get the blueprint. Then over here, you have the armor. Now, it's based on the character you're playing. So right now, I'm playing a hunter. So I will not see any exotic armor blueprints for my titan or my warlock. So over here, you'll see I have every single one of the, um, y you know, the year two or year three um, exotics for the hunter. So if I want to reclaim Graviton Forfeit, which I don't need to. I think I have it in my vault. Um, I could. But, yeah, I have all of them unlocked. You can see there's no, like, engram, which means I have it. This is the legacy stuff. I don't have legacy stuff. See, it requires discovery. Um, I just, I never bothered to go try and fight it. So that is, if you dismantle something and then you realize that you should not have dismantled it, you can reclaim it. You won't get it at 400 light, but you could then use an exotic shard to infuse it and make it 400 light. Um, I think Xur does carry... You remind myself. I'm pretty sure Zur does carry. Yeah, he does carry exotic shards for seven strange coins. So if you want to buy an exotic shard, I have plenty. I have like seven or something. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share this with other Destiny people. Um, this weekend I will be on Sunday on PlayStation. I have accepted all friend requests, but I will double check on Saturday. My gamer tag on X on PlayStation is Feline revolution now i don't know if you will be heard over the live stream simply because playstation is a lot harder to live stream um hopefully at the very least i'll get the game volume to work and then i'll we'll be able to hear each other through the headset um i'll see what we do um but like i said my gamer tag is feline revolution i i think i have destiny on playstation 5 but i it doesn't matter you can play across playstation 4 i know i did 
um, uninstall Destiny 2 from PlayStation 5 because of the space. And I don't have Witch Queen on um, PlayStation, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, like I said, send me invites. I will try to keep up. I did not realize I had missed a billion friend requests on, play on Xbox. It doesn't stand out as much on Xbox when you have friend requests waiting. Um... It's like I had to dig in and go into my notifications for me to realize I had friend requests. Thank you, like I said, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share with other Destiny players, and hopefully I'll see you on Sunday playing uh, Destiny, original Destiny on PlayStation.